Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Moniz, and today Google announced the final build for Android 7.0, or otherwise known as Android Nougat. It's official, you can download it on your Nexus device as long as it's a Nexus 6 and above. Now Google is rolling it out, so there's no page you can go to download the factory image, but it will take some time, so if you don't get the update today, don't panic, as they said this could take several weeks for the full rollout. Now, because I was lucky enough, I did get the update right away. I have it right here, right now on my Nexus 6P. And because it's version 7.0, I'm gonna talk about seven of my favorite features that I like about Android N. Now, the first and most important one, which is the obvious one, is multi-window. This is a blessing. It's finally come to Android, and it's really important for tablets as you have a bigger screen and it's fantastic to take advantage of all that screen real estate. Now, in order to activate multi-window, all you have to do is press the square on the right-hand corner of the bottom, and it will bring up your recent tabs or recent apps menu. Now, all you gotta do is select the app that you want and long press on the top of it and drag it to the top in order to activate split screen. Now, as you can see here, I have a black bar that's in the middle, and this allows me to adjust the size of the screen for each app. And on the bottom one, I can select a different screen that I want on the bottom portion, and it will obviously fill out the bottom of the phone. Now, of course, to get rid of it, all I have to do is slide it to the top, and I'll be back to a single app experience. Next up on the list is emojis. Now, I personally used to never like emojis, but emojis is everything now. It makes the conversation a lot easier to understand, and it brings some vibrancy to it as well. Now, Android has over 1,500 emojis to choose from, and they've also added another 72 to be used. So the thing about the latest update to the emojis is that Android or Google took the time to make the emojis look more realistic. So you can choose from hundreds of different ones that suit your needs. You actually have different people with different skin tones. You have um, different um, actions you can choose from. Next up on the list is stacked notifications. This is another favorite feature of mine with Android and it makes the notification experience a lot easier to use and a lot more cleaner. So the way it works on Marshmallow right now is that whatever notification comes in first, that's what's gonna show up on the list first. So if you have a chat message and an email then another chat message, that's the order it's going to come in. And after a while it gets very messy and it makes it annoying to find what you want to find. The beauty of stack notifications is it's going to group all your emails with emails, all your chats with chats, so on and so forth. And that brings me to my next point about stack notifications. You can also start replying to these notifications directly in the notification bar. So for example, using two fingers to scroll down, I can look at the conversations that came in through Hangouts, and then I can take this one with Andrea, swipe down again, hit reply, and I can go ahead and type a message directly inside of the notification window. Now you can sort of do this with Marshmallow right now, but the problem is it brings up a separate screen which kind of looks like you're replying directly in it, but technically you're not. Next up on the list is the quick settings menu. It's been greatly improved. It's a lot more customizable than it was before. Uh, usually um, the way it worked before is you had to swipe down twice, but you don't have to do that anymore. You just swipe down once with two fingers and it pops up automatically. The beauty of it is you can actually edit the quick settings icons yourself. So if I hit the edit button here, I can long press on any of these. I can drag it around and organize them in alphabetical order. On top of that, if I only want a couple of quick settings on top, I can actually remove these and put them on the bottom here so that they won't be in view. Next up on the list is Doze. Now, Doze was introduced with Android Marshmallow and the whole purpose of it was to significantly improve your battery life. But the problem is most people didn't find a significant improvement with Android Marshmallow. In fact, some people were having worse battery life than Android Lollipop, the previous version before it. Well, Doze 2.0 is the second iteration of that and it's supposed to fix a lot of those bugs that were with Android Marshmallow and significantly improve the battery life. Now you're not gonna have an app to see it, but if you go to your battery settings, you can take a look and see if your phone went into doze mode. But you'll be able to see little dips in your, in your, in your battery settings here, in your battery graph, and those dips will show that your phone actually went into doze mode because it wasn't being in use. So you're not gonna get your notifications as fast, um, your background data is slowed down a bit, but your phone will last significantly longer. Google says that you can take a phone and make it last for days if your phone is actually sleeping. And finally, the last thing on the list is display size. So as you know, when you buy a phone, the only thing you can really change on your display is the text size but now you can actually change the icon size. If you go to your settings menu and then to display, 
you can actually change how big you want those icons to be. Now this is great for um, people who want bigger icons because they have trouble seeing or if, if it's too small. Like for example, when I got this Nexus 6P, I found the text to be a little too small and the icons to be a little too small. And I can go ahead and change that under display size. And the last thing I wanna talk about is Google's Daydream. This is their brand new VR platform, and this is more of an honorable mention, but it's something you should look out for when buying a future phone. As of right now, only one or two phones have the hardware necessary in order to run Daydream, and that's the ZT on Axon 7, and we're still waiting on confirmation on whether or not the Galaxy or the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 can use Daydream as well. But anyways, the new Nexus devices will support it and you will be able to use virtual reality using your mobile device using Google's new platform. So that wraps up my seven favorite features of Android Nougat. I wanna hear yours in the comments below. Also, let us know if you got the update or not. We wanna hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone out there for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And don't forget to visit us at mobilesyrup.com.